They had Craig Robinson on there. But he still has that show. Yeah. Well, Craig Robinson was the host. Them evil motherfucking Jew Hollywood motherfuckers did they motherfucking thing. They offered DC Young Fly six figures to host Wild It Out, from what I heard. I saw that. I saw that. And I heard DC turned it down. Yep. Do you know how G that is? Yeah, that is. Do you know how G that is for DC Young Fly to stand on his motherfucking principles? Cause I'm tell you, I met the motherfucker, man. I ain't DC Young Fly, I ain't never seen him do no sucker ass shit. Cause the average motherfucker is not finna motherfucking turn that shit down, and it ain't even gotta be six figures. The average motherfucker gonna do the show and be like, well, Nick, you know they ain't fucking with you no more. They don't understand that protocol of what's righteousness says, you can't give me that job. Right. Y'all gonna get somebody to do it anyway, but you gonna give it to me because that puts a mark on me. So DC Young Fly, nigga, do you know how real that motherfucking shit is you did, nigga? Man, I, yeah, very, very, yeah. Nigga, I don't, even, I, I don't even know what to say. That shit choked me up. That's a man. Yeah. Give a fuck what we do or what we got going on or what somebody say about us. Nigga, to motherfucking do, when you put on the spot, look, nigga, here it is. It's yours. What you gonna do? That nigga said, man, I can't do that shit. That's whole shit. Man, I love that nigga, man. I love that nigga already. Just on GP for what he showed me before that happened. Exactly. Now, I mean, I'm choked up behind my nigga. Because he motherfucker was, look, you can't, ma I'm not the sucker. That's what he told the world. I'm not the sucker. Y'all get somebody else to do that shit. I'll find a way. And I believe that's going to open more doors for you than doing that show. DC, because motherfuckers are attracted to greatness. That was a form of greatness to have the courage to do what you supposed to do. Real shit. Mm -hmm. I love you for that. Hey, sitting here watching the 5150 show, and I seen the part where Corey Holcomb was talking about DC Young Fly, saying how DC Young Fly was off of Nick Cannon job to replace Nick Cannon and Wild and Out. Which everybody knows, it was crazy. It sounded crazy from the jump. And if we all was to be honest, it would have never worked. The show would have failed. Nick Cannon would have, would have, would have first of all been disappointed. I'm sure DC Young Fly, but he would have still supported him because that's what kind of dude Nick Cannon is. DC Young Fly, he wouldn't have took the job in a way. You know what I mean, real nigga ain't gonna sit there and cross that homie. Nick Cannon put him on, gave him some, gave him a bad. So you know. That's just what it is. That's just how it roll. Real recognize real all day, every day, no matter what the situation is, no matter how hard it is. So that's definitely a big shout out to DC Young Fly. He know what he was doing. He wasn't going to be the sucker. So he definitely knew not to put himself in that position. He could have, but he didn't do it. So, you know, that was a smart move. And um, they just, yeah, they had to get somebody else to do that shit, man. Why the Nile ain't gonna make it? Let Nick Cannon have his show back. I mean, apologize to Nick for not letting him voice his opinion, but freedom of speech. Cause y'all let everybody else do it. And just keep the ball rolling. We ain't gotta talk about it no more. Simple as that. Simple as that.